welcome and I got it working this is what I was trying to show you last week the voice meter the banana and the way I got rid of it was to um, remove it from the the device manager so let's see uh, we went in here we went in into properties on the computer we went to device manager and the voice meter was in uh, was in it was in a couple different places it was in here I couldn't get rid of it it just kept coming back well it was because it was further down here it was in some other area I don't remember where it was uh, uh, sound and video I think it was it was in here so yeah it was here so I had to get rid of it by like uninstalling it here and then I think when I uninstalled it here it finally got rid of it here and then um, it is kind of tricky to set up a little bit but there, like I said there's like a ton of videos on YouTube and showing you how I do it and uh, but the main thing, the main reason why I'm showing you this is because, uh, well, the first thing you got to do is you got to go in here. You got to go in your playback devices. You got to select your playback device video input and set it as your default. Go in the recording tab, click the output, and also set that as your default. And then when you do that, then you can go ahead and run it. This interface comes up. Right away, there's like something flashing in red over here on, on the upper right hand side where it says hardware out. You got to go in here and you got to pick one of these guys. And I picked uh, speakers headphones for A1. And then you can set the, the other ones for something else like this one. You can set this that and then you can set this to something else okay but the gist of it is when you come over here um, for this for this particular channel you can pick your your microphone which is what you're hearing it's coming in here you can see activity and I'm pretty sure it's going out to the stream because I went into OBS and selected it in OBS Oh, well, this is already running. So I come in here, go in your settings, go into audio, and choose your microphone as the voice meter output. And when you when you do that, then you can see activity on the on the microphone here in the OBS interface. And uh, <clears throat> on the channel itself, you have to pick. A1, which is lit, which will send it over to A1, which is going out to your speaker's headphones, and then also B1. So I select the B1, which actually goes, is, is what's actually going out that you're hearing. Okay. Now it has a couple controls. It has a compressor. And we don't want to do that because it makes it sound noisy. It has a gate right here. I'm moving it up and down. It's got a gate, which is kind of cool. It, it just helps to kind of clean things up a bit. But the most important part is in Skype. We want to go into Skype and to Tools Options. And I want to go to Audio Settings. And I want to make sure that I didn't hear what I did in OBS. Select that as your uh, your microphone as your voice meter output, <clears throat> and just set it uh, appropriately, and then we're gonna test it. Let's give it a whirl, shall we? Oh, oh, the other thing is when you get your your mini host installed, the modular. I put two of them out there because they give you one for 32 bit and one for 64 bit. Unfortunately, the effects I Okay. 
Okay. Sorry about that. Anyways, uh, you gotta turn it on. You gotta go into the uh, banana menu, system settings, and then you gotta enable these two buttons in the lower left hand corner. You can inserts. When those inserts are set up, you can uh, you can add one of the free um, effects. You can right click and you can add a plugin. Whatever uh, free plugin you downloaded, you can add it in here. And this is the uh, the clone ensemble. And then you you basically you click and and drag a cable from here over to the input. And then you click and drag a cable from the output, the output, and then you'll be able to hear it. Because <clears throat> if you disconnect any one of those cables, the audio goes away. So, here I've got an interesting plugin. And uh, I thought it would save my settings, maybe not. I just thought I had it and play around with it. This would be great for NPCs. Okay, so you're talking to a little child. And he wants to know if you're really a magic user or just pretending to be one. So you can have fun with that. You can change this. Bow down and worship me. This would be really great, really great for encounters. But anyways, you get rid of that. You